Welcome back to Cabmaster Software. Today we're going to go through how to modify this palette. Um, it's a fantastic option to have. I like to use when I'm selecting cabinets by default, I'll generally use this menu over the side here, the, um, the picker, but everything's there. It's much quicker when you're doing regular drawings to actually set up these ones up here as your standard cabinets. So you've got everything in here, well, th everything under this list. These are the types of things you can have in your palette. You can create your own. So what we can do is go add palette, call it um, favorites. So now I can go in here and select which one do I want. So for floor cupboards, standard, one door left and right, two door, um, it's possibly about in there with that one. Underbench oven, I'm going to use either that one or that one. Not going to use splayed cupboards. Corner cupboard, well you're always going to have a corner cupboard in there, but you don't need all these other ones. Just turn on things you actually use. Panel, I want to have a floor end panel to floor. There, open the fillers. Not a whole lot need dishwasher, yeah we need a dishwasher. That's about it for the floor cupboards. They don't have to be just from that one. You can mix them together. So if I go for my overheads as well, we do need an overhead filler. We only need one of those. We're going to need standard, two door, one door left, one door right. Anything that's not that commonly used, I wouldn't add into this. Uh, panel, definitely going to need a panel. Just a standard one of those. Microwave, appliance. Yeah, look, I want them, I'm going to go select them manually, same as tall cupboards. We'll put in a tall, tall angled, they're fairly common. Let's put in a filler, tall filler, tall panel to floor. And we're going to standard cupboards and go a one door left, one door right, two door, and a broom cupboard. Okay. And if you really want, you can go into these other ones and delete them. Delete current palette. And then go through all the other ones you don't want. Delete current palette and just keep the, the one you want to use. So it makes it easier here. These are all the standard cupboards I use. I go, okay, I'm going to put down a wall. So I put down a wall. I want one of those. So I'll start with a corner cupboard straight into there. I want a two door cupboard there I want a one door hinge on the left there's one of those much quicker to actually start selecting things because you can see exactly what you're getting the other thing you can do is if you go to file options images you can actually show captions if you turn that on it actually gives you the name on here so it depends on how big the name you have sometimes they don't quite fit properly if you go and rename the cabinets in the library catalog manager you can actually put down smaller codes and make them actually fit better as well. So there's a few different things you can do in there. You can set up multiple palettes, as many as you like. That way you can choose whatever works for you or just put in the standards that you, you use on every drawing. So thank you very much for that. Uh, thanks for using CamMaster software.